Welcome back to another video in another 5 minute series. Today we will look at how to combine data from different tabs or if you're coming from VBA background, then worksheets or sheets of an Excel file into one Python data frame. So let's get started. The Excel file you see has four different tabs for different stores of Walmart with similar headers. We would like to combine these four tabs into one pandas data frame. So let's load up Visual Studio Code and get started. We have our default imports pandas as PD. We will also need to import Excel writer from pandas. Let's do that. So let's define input and output files. Input file will be the one we need to combine data from. The output file will be the one that the combined data will be exported to. Both these files same directory as the code, which is why I have not given the full path, but just the file names. Next, we will also need to create an empty data frame to append all data frames into. So let's create one as df underscore concat. This will be equal to pd.dataframe, which is an empty data frame. We will use a with context manager, which ensures proper use of resources and closes the file after with block is executed. So the output file will be the one that we will export the output to. Next, we will open a for loop. We need two things mainly, tab or sheet name and the data frame. So we define two variables in our for loop, sheet name and df. Next, we will give pd.readXL as before and give the input file name. It's important to note that sheet name must be none, so it loads all of the sheets. Then we will add dot items to iterate through the sheets as dictionary of sheet name and data frame. All right, so now our for loop is open. We know that our sheet name will be saved in sheet underscore name variable, so let's create a new column. So each time this loops through a data frame, it will save the tab name of that sheet into this new column, df source underscore sheet. Next thing we will do is we will add a concatenate to append each data frame to our empty data frame. This was previously being done using append function, which is now being deprecated. So we will use concat function. So we will say df underscore concat or empty data frame equals, we'll say pd.concat and then we will give it a list of the data frames we need to append. So we will append empty data frame df on cat with the newly looped data frame which is in df and then we will say ignore index equals true and sort equals false finally we export the df underscore concat to excel this goes outside the for loop all right so let me run all of this code okay so our code ran successfully let me open up the folder to see if our file is created and we can see we have our output underscore file let me open it up and you can see this has 964 rows which we can double check from going through each tab of these. So this is 254, then we have 276, 181, and 256. So the column we create as source underscore sheet saves the tab name. So we can identify which data came from what tab or worksheet. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Happy coding.